I'm Yashlin, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot device token not for topic errors when publishing APNS push notifications through Amazon Simple Notification Service or Amazon Pinpoint. Let's get started. First, let's look at some background information about the error. When creating an Amazon SNS platform application or configuring an Amazon Pinpoint Apple push notification service channel, a certificate or token linked to a specific bundle ID is required. Your application generates a device token with that bundle ID. When sending a message to a device endpoint, APNS expects the same bundle ID for this device token. If APNS picks up a device token with a different bundle ID, it returns a 400 or 410 status code and the following error, device token not for topic. When this error occurs, APNS deactivates the associated platform endpoint and then displays a disabled status for this endpoint on Amazon SNS. To resolve the error when using Amazon SNS or Amazon Pinpoint, check the bundle ID that's registered with APNS for your application. Update the application bundle ID to match the bundle ID that's registered with APNS and generate a new device token. Update the platform endpoint on SNS and Pinpoint using the newly generated device token. Check the bundle ID that's registered with APNS for your application. For certificate-based authentication, after you log into your Apple developer account, in the left navigation bar, choose certificates, IDs, and profiles. In the left navigation bar, choose identifiers. Choose your application. Note, to verify that your application is linked to a certificate, navigate to certificates, then view the bundle ID under name. Copy the bundle ID that's in the name field. This is the bundle ID that's registered with APNS for your application. For token-based authentication, you can map multiple bundle IDs, applications, with a single token. To verify that you are using the correct bundle ID, confirm them on either your Apple developer account or on the SNS console. While still logged in to your Apple developer account, click Identifiers. Choose your application. Copy the bundle ID. This is the bundle ID that's registered with APNS for your application. Log in to your SNS console. Navigate to push notifications under mobile. Choose your platform application. Verify that the Apple bundle ID is the correct bundle ID. To update the application's bundle ID to match the bundle ID that's registered with APNS, open Xcode. Choose your application's root project folder. Choose signing and capabilities. In the bundle identifier text field, enter the bundle ID that's registered with APNS for your application. The new bundle ID is saved automatically. Run your application to generate a new device token with the correct bundle ID. Update the platform endpoint. For Amazon SNS, run the set endpoint attribute AWS CLI command reflected in the Knowledge Center article. This command sets enable to true. For token, insert your newly generated device token. For Amazon Pinpoint, run the update endpoint AWS CLI command reflected in the Knowledge Center article. And now you know how to troubleshoot device token not for topic errors when publishing APNS push notifications through SNS or Amazon Pinpoint. Thanks for watching and happy clone computing from all of us here at AWS. <music>